Hello and welcome back to English. And this week we're going to be looking at different forms of poetry with um, particular styles in mind. Um, today we're looking at similes and how we can identify similes and use them in a poem. All of the poems we look at this week will feature some sort of um, figurative language. So they're called figurative poems. Um, and they're used to describe something or to add detail to things. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the rule um, which the figurative language revolves around and then a poem that follows that and then see if we can create a version of that poem ourselves using our own similary, similes. So what our aim is is to look and identify similes and to use them in a poem. First off, Here's a simile riddle. Look at the answers below when they come up and think about what might be being described in the poem. As you go along, you can write down your ideas and then at the end, I'll give you a multiple choice and you can think about which one you think it is. It's your first clue. It's as colorful as a rainbow. Second clue, flies as high as a kite. flutters as softly as a snowflake. And fourth and final clue is with wings like fire burning bright. So your full set of clues. It is as colourful as a rainbow, flies as high as a kite, flutters as softly as a snowflake with wings like fire burning bright. What are your thoughts? Here's some ideas. Does any of these narrow your choices down? So, this riddle actually is about a butterfly. And actually this riddle is a form of poetry um, as it is a descriptive poem, a figurative poem. It is describing something, not telling us exactly what it is, but by using similes and the idea of this is to paint an image in your head of what it might be like and by likening something to something else it helps you see what you mean about that particular item so it's as colorful as a rainbow we had a rainbow over here with multiple colors within it it flies as high as a kite. You get that idea of how a kite flies in the air all over the place. Flutters softly like a snowflake. And that's that snowflake that flows through the air, gently falling to the ground. With wings like burning, like fire burning bright. And this is to do with the brightness of the colours on its wings. And obviously when we think back through it now, butterfly makes sense. Um, but sometimes we need context in order for them to make sense. So what is a simile? A simile compares something by using words like or as. So examples are it was as cold as ice. We know ice is cold and everyone knows that ice is cold. So when you compare how cold it is to ice, people instantly have an idea of what you mean. He's cheeky like a monkey. But it's monkey. And we know that monkeys can be very silly and do silly things. Therefore, we understand what is meant by that. So your task, your first task, is to finish these simile sentences. And you can use the pictures to help you. They're not in order, but some of them may help you. Have a go now, pause now and have a shot. Okay. So let's go around our pictures, see what we have first off. Oh, we've got chocolate, a baby, a bird, a snake, a lion, and some trees or a tree. Let's have a look. The girl cried like a, hmm, a snake, a bird. No, the girl cried like a baby. He was as fierce as chocolate. No, he was as fierce as a lion. It would be very different if we said he was as fierce as chocolate. 
it was as tall as a tree well done the traffic was long like a we got to, there's got to be one of these that is long which one's long well chocolate doesn't look long we well, use baby birds aren't snake and even if we look at the way the snake's tail snakes around, it kind of looks like a trail of traffic jam as it winds its way along. It's a really nice on that one. The teacher was singing like a bird. In my case, definitely not true. Um, but some teachers, hopefully, music teachers, might sing like a bird. And it was as sweet as chocolate. We all know what chocolate tastes like and how sweet it is. So it's a good thing to like and a sweetness too. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a poem called The Monster Under My Bed. We're going to have a look at the similes in this poem and then we're going to see if we can't create our very own monster under the bed poem. There's a monster under my bed. He's not scared of me, though I'm scared of him. He's not a very beautiful thing. But now how he loves to sing. He looks like a bat with ears like broccoli. And oh, and the smell, oh my, it smells like my football boots, as stinky as blue cheese. He loves to keep me awake at night by tickling me. It makes me laugh like a monkey. And then my mum comes and tells me off. But I can't tell her the truth. There's a monster under my bed. So there's a few similes in here. Can you see if you can find them? Okay, so you might have guessed the pictures around the poem are your clue. The first one is he looks like a bat. And then he has ears like broccoli. He smells like my football boots. We well, didn't have a picture of football boots, but that is one. As stinky as blue cheese. There's blue cheese. And he makes me laugh like a monkey. Now there's a few things that gives away that they are similes and it's the words like or as in all of these you can see he looks like a bat his ears like broccoli he smells like my football beats he's as stinky as blue cheese and he makes me laugh like a monkey all of these are similes because we were likening two things what his looks like about his ears are like broccoli he smells like football beets he stinks like blue cheese and he makes me laugh like a monkey you're comparing two items using like or as they are our similes so your job you are going to rewrite this poem and change the details to your own you can change more than that if you like in the different bits in between but your main aim is to change the similes. Now, if you need a little help, you could use some of these ideas. My monster is as fluffy as a, he's as green as, he sings like a, the monster is as scaly as a, and the scary monster is old like a, and you can fill in the blanks. And you could use these ideas um, to form your own monster under the bed poem or you can come up with completely your own ideas i would love to see some of your own poems i'll tell you what if you could record yourself saying them out loud that would be really nice to see on tapestry now it's a nice one it's all about figurative language all about description using those similes to paint the picture in the person's mind have fun with it. Good luck. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.